Hey everyone, uh, my Citadel Air came in the post today, so I'm going to do a hands on review of them um, and let you know what I think. So stay tuned uh, to see if you should invest in them or whether you should just keep mixing up your own. Hey everyone, so um, as previously mentioned, my Citadel Air arrived today. I got the uh, Relicta Gold, uh, the Iron Breaker, uh, the Steel Legion Drab, Mephiston Red. Um, I wanted to try, you know, both the metallics and the non-metallics, um, especially considering I've been painting so many Necrons at the moment. I've also got the Aircast Thinner. Um, I nearly always thin my airbrush paints with water um, or even just um, you know, Lamia Medium, um, so I just wanted to see if this was any different to uh, Lamia Medium or if they've just uh, rebranded it. So uh, let's have a quick look at how they sort of flow on paper. So this is just some acrylic, um, it's just a paper palette. Um, so let's have a look at, what should we do? Let's compare some Vallejo and the Relicta Gold. So I'm going to give it a nice good shake. Let's see how it goes. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It is really thin. But for metallic, it's holding well together. It's not separating very much. Um, feels really nice. I suppose one of the reasons why I did want to do this review as well is because um, I thin my paints down a hell of a lot normally. Um, so I wanted to see if I could paint with these normally um, rather than me keep thinning paints down um, and it looks like with this gold you could quite easily just paint it on so I'll just see what happens I've got a space wolf, space wolf that I'm probably never going to use so let's just see what the coverage is like okay so I hope you guys can see this But that is pretty much covered in a single go, which is pretty impressive for a, a thin airbrush paint. I do hope you guys can see that. My camera doesn't seem to be on to focus. Okay, so let's have a look at it in comparison to the Vallejo then. Um, so I just washed my brush. Okay, so here I've got just uh, Vallejo's Air Gold. So it moves about the same. Um, it's probably pretty much very, very similar. I'm just noticing on this one though, it looks like it's drying out really, really quick, the, the Citadel Air. So that's only been on my palette for a couple of minutes or so and it's already drying out. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna load my airbrush up and we'll just see how how these things fire out. So um, I'm currently using a, uh, what is it now? It's a Bala uh, Badger Velocity, uh, it's the Renegade. Um, I've got it set to 25 PSI. Um, the main gripe I've got with GW Paints, and this isn't just the Citadel Air, is that they come in these these um, bottles, which I think is really silly if you're gonna be dropping into your airbrush because you're just gonna make an absolute mess around the edge. Um, so what I normally do is what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this into a cup and then I'm gonna pour the cup into, uh, into the airbrush. So uh, let's have a go at red. So give it a nice shake. See, now this is what's really bugging me. It's just gonna take 
absolute nightmare to get it into the paintbrush cup. So I might even just put it straight into the airbrush because it's just taking far too long and I'm wasting paint. So let's see if I can do this. Because I'm really reluctant to pour it because I know I'm going to get it everywhere. Um, and I'm just going to end up clogging up the seal and the paint's going to dry out and then I'm going to be annoyed. So, so I've loaded up, just put a small amount in. I'm just going to get it through. Okay, so let's see how we how we get on. So it is covering really nice. Really, really strong colours coming through with this Mephiston red here. Um, it's gone nice, on th nice and thin as well, so I'm not going to lose any detail. Um, and it doesn't actually take a great deal to cover the area. Like, I'm pushing not a lot through so the pigments got to be quite strong in this um, which is really nice to see um, right let's just get rid of the rest of this then okay so guys, I'm just going to clean my airbrush and then I'll come back and we'll have a go at one of the uh, metallics and then I'll have a look at the airbrush thinner. Hey guys, thanks for staying tuned. So a quick problem I've found with the airbrush paints, um, the Citadel Air, as I'm cleaning it out, because it dries so quickly, that was really hard to get out of the, uh, the cup of my airbrush. Um, I've, it didn't go with water and I've actually had to use some Vallejo airbrush cleaner um, to, to actually get out. Um, and you know, as you'll see, that was only in there for a couple of moments and already it's really stuck to the side of the cup. So, um, not sure how I feel about that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna thin one of the normal GW paints. This is a Uriel Yellow. Um, often, I suppose I wanted to comment on this as well because a lot of the videos you see as you're trying to learn to mix up your own airbrush paints is uh, a lot of people will talk about getting their uh, the consistency like milk and um, I often think what the hell do they mean by milk um, especially considering you've got semi skimmed skimmed and full fat milk so the consistency is never going to be the same anyway um, so yeah I think that's a bit ridiculous what I'm gonna see if I can show you guys is a way my friend Gavin taught me um, and that's just making it have a bit of a wobble so you can actually learn to visibly see when it's thin enough um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix some of this uh, Aircast thinner in, um, see if it's any different from just medium or just using water to thin your paint. So I'm going to put quite a lot in. Um, usually I use a dropper for this, but I don't really want to stick it in there just in case it stains. I wonder if it's... It smells like a different chemical from the medium, so I'm just going to give it a nice big mix. So I think that's about five or six drops I've put into three drops of three brushes of paint. And what you're looking for is this wobble. Okay. That is a good consistency. It won't be too thin and it won't be too thick. Um, I wouldn't recommend that sort of thinness for if you're going to be spraying it a really high PSI because you're just going to get a big splat. Um, but for about 30. 25, that's going to be fine. So let's get this in the cup. Just spray through. Okay. So I'm just going to test this out on another one, on another uh, Space Wolf. Okay, so it has thinned it down really nicely. Um, is it better than water? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, it's not splitting in the cup, like it's not separating like you might find with water, which is good. Um, you might 
get that sometimes uh, if you're just using water, which is why I kind of tend to use Lamy and Medium. Um, so if you've already got that, I'd probably stick with that. Um, so I'm just going to pause the camera again while saying uh, wash my airbrush and we'll have a quick go with the metallics and uh, then that'll be it for today. Cheers. Okay guys, here for the last part where I'm going to try out uh, Relic to Gold Air. Um, so it's in the airbrush. Uh, I just need to send out my PSI before I blow everything up. So let's uh, have a little go. So this one feels uh, thinner than the regular paints. Uh, I'm actually not putting as much paint through as I would have done with the other colors. And it's taking a little bit more time to build up. Um, but I guess it is a metallic, you know, if you thin metals. They're often like this anyway when you do it with a brush. Sorry for the compressor noise. Okay. Okay. So. That's what we're left with. It's not too bad. Um, it's definitely going to need more than one spray. That didn't coat it properly, um, which most airbrush paints would. So that's something to be uh, just to be aware of. Um, cool. So I'm going to finish up now. Um, I'm going to try and clean these out because these are drying really quickly in my airbrush, um, which isn't good because I'm going to end up getting a clog. Um, so let me know what you think. I personally probably would rather use them for brush painting than actual airbrush painting um, just because they're not I don't know with them drying so quickly you know I'd rather mix up my own to be honest um, but they seem pretty good for, for brush painting so um, let me know what you guys think uh, and uh, check out some of the other hobby tutorials on my channel cheers